Good morning children. Today I am going to teach you about noun. So before going to noun you must have the knowledge about parts of speech. In English there are eight parts of speech. So what is parts of speech? Parts of speech are the basic types of words that English has. So there are eight parts of speech. They are noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, preposition, adjective, conjunction, and interjection. So, today we are going to discuss about noun. So, what is noun? A noun is a naming word which names a person, place, animal, thing or quality, feeling, idea. So examples of noun. It could be the name of any person like Rita, Gita, Shyam and so on. It could be name of any animal like rabbit, dog or elephant. Things like car, bottle, pen, pencil. Like naming feelings, like quality, or idea like joy, fear, wisdom, poverty and so on. So there are different parts of noun. Nouns are divided into five kinds. So kinds of nouns. Five kinds of noun. So number one, proper noun. Number two, common noun. Number three, collective noun. Number four, material noun. And number five, abstract noun. So children, first we are going to discuss about proper noun. So what is proper noun? Name of a particular person or place is known as a proper noun. Particular person or place. So children, that can be your name, your friend's name, your school name and so on. They are the special naming words. That's why they are known as the proper noun. Remember children, proper noun always starts with a capital letter. Remember children, proper noun always starts with a capital letter. For example, 
Padmini, Jaipur, and Modern English School. So next we are going to discuss about common noun. So what is common noun? Common nouns are naming words that are common to people, places, things and animals. Remember children, common nouns do not define any particular person, place or thing. They are general names. So, they are not capitalized unless they begin a sentence. For example, boy, girl, doctor, city, so and so on. Just here, Ram is a boy. Shyam is a boy. In both the sentence, boy is common. That's why this is known as the common noun. And here, Ram is a different person and Shyam is a different person and they have the special name. That's why they are known as the proper noun. So, now we are going to discuss about the collective noun. One. Number three, collective noun. So, what is a collective noun? Collective nouns are used to name a group of persons like places, animals or things. A collective noun represents a complete whole children. For example, a library of books. A team of players. So here library and team both are known as the collective noun. Remember children, some collective nouns are used to name a group of animals and birds. For example, a flock of sheep, and a herd of cattle. So here this flock and herd, these both are known as the collective noun. So next is our material noun. So what is a material noun? A material noun refers to a resource or substance or material from which a things are made such as gold, silver, paper and so on. See children, books are made of paper. Here books is known as the common noun and paper is known as the material noun. But paper is made of bamboo. made of bamboo. Here paper is common noun and bamboo is known as the material noun. So the last one is the abstract noun. So what is abstract noun children? An abstract noun names a quality or an idea. Abstract noun are those nouns which cannot be physically touched or seen, but we can feel it. 
so some examples like we can say liberty like anger like wisdom like love beauty so on remember children and notice it that these noun expresses ideas and qualities that cannot be seen or cannot be touched so today is about noun thank you children